Hello scientific brilliant people, how are you today? So today I am going to discuss a very important theory that is how to measure the relative density of any liquid A with respect to other liquid B. And the method which I am using is picnometer met method. So this is our picnometer bottle as you can see it's a very small bottle and capacity of this bottle is 25 ml. This is made up of glass and this is called stopper. So how does it work is actually you are supposed to fill this bottle completely with any liquid. So till top till here right and let the liquid overflow. Then you put the stopper like this and gently press it. So the extra liquid is going to overflow from this space out and the liquid which is remaining inside is going to be 25 ml. Correct. So very small picnometer bottle this is and it can hold any liquid inside it and when you completely fill it after add, after putting the stopper its volume will be 25 ml. Okay. So let's put it aside and let's see how we can find out the relative density of A with respect to B. So for this I would also require a digital weighing machine which shows the mass of the liquids in grams. So let us take this picnometer bottle like this. Now this is the picnometer bottle and I am going to keep it on the digital balance and I am going to measure the mass of the empty picnometer bottle. So suppose I am getting the mass as M1. So what is M1? It is the mass of empty that is m1 in grams and let me assume this as 10 grams right okay now I am going to fill this with liquid A liquid A can be anything it can be kerosene petrol oil diesel whatever it is with any liquid B when this liquid B becomes water then this relative density turns into specific gravity. So now the same picnometer bottle on the weighing balance but now this time I am adding water into it sorry I am adding liquid A into it. So this is liquid A. This is liquid A and this time the mass of this entire setup will increase let me call that as M2. So M2 is the mass of actually the liquid and the empty picnometer bottle both. So mass of the liquid that is liquid A plus the picnometer bottle the total mass you are getting it as M2 grams and let me assume this as 30 grams right. Okay, now I am again going to pour this liquid content out and I am going to clean it and I am going to dry this bottle again and again I am going to put this bottle back again on the digital balance but this time I am going to add liquid B inside it. So now this is liquid B inside it. And since liquid B and liquid A are totally different, so the mass will be entirely different. So I am going to get the mass over here as M3 grams. So let me specify that this is the mass of liquid B plus the bottle's mass will be M3 grams. Let me consider this as 50 grams people, right? Okay. So now if I want to find out the mass of only, mass of only liquid A. So mass of only liquid A will be 30 minus 10. So it will be 20 grams because this total mass minus the mass of the empty bottle, I would be getting the mass of the only liquid A so that will be M2 minus M1 and I know it will be 20 gram. Now in the same way if I find out mass of only liquid B 
that will be equal to this total mass minus the mass of the bottle so that will be actually 50 minus 10 so i would be getting that as 40 grams so i should write down this as m3 minus m1 and the mass would be 40 grams that is the total mass minus the 10 grams that is the mass of the empty bottle now most important thing volume of liquid a volume that is same as volume of liquid b and that is same as the volume of pycnometer bottle that is v that is 25 ml as it was written on it so let me show you this once again its capacity is 25 ml people so that means if i completely fill it with any liquid it will hold 25 ml of the liquid so here you are supposed to completely fill this bottle with liquid a and liquid b so the volume of liquid a and the volume of liquid b will be 25 ml and that would be the same as the volume of the entire bottle which i have assumed as v but it is 25 ml so now let me write down the formula for relative density so the relative density formula relative density of liquid a with respect to liquid b that is equal to density of a divided by density of b the number which is written or the letter which is written just after with respect to its density is going to come in the denominator and you are supposed to measure the relative density of a that will come in the numerator right okay now let's proceed further so we know that the density of a is equal to mass of a upon volume of a divided by mass of b liquid b upon the volume of liquid b and we have all the data as with us so i'm just going to just substitute is substitute the values v and v are going to get cancelled because the volume of both the liquids are same over here that is 25 ml or v so they are going to get cancelled guys this is an experiment right so we are just discussing the theory so density of a can be measured as mass of a so mass of only liquid a is m2 minus m1 divided by its volume was v but it got cancelled with the volume of b because the volumes are same and the mass of b is equal to m3 minus m1 so if we just substitute these values over here we will get the relative density of liquid a with respect to liquid b and as you can see that this will be in grams and this will be in grams so relative density does not have any unit so no unit now if instead instead of liquid b if you consider water then this relative density will become specific gravity because when we measure the density of anything with respect to water it becomes specific gravity so hopefully guys you have understood the experiment and uh, if you have any doubts please do comment in the comment section thank you for watching the video